Hi, I'm Aaron Sarofsky. And I'm Austin Shaw. This is Between the Keyframes. Okay, so this is a, a reel that for Tyler that Austin has done some choppy chop on. So what we'll do is we'll watch it down and then we'll do a quick chit chat about it and then we'll pop into the choppy chop. Cool, cool. You like that? I call it choppy chop. So the overall impression is, is that per this person's been working for a little bit on their reel. Um, they have a range of stuff. It's fun, it's colorful, it's vibrant. I think that, I don't know, I like definitely respond to their more character -y driven stuff, but even that's cute, you know what I mean? But that's still kind of more uh, playful. Um, there are some shots I would just outright remove that I don't think should be in here because they, or they should just be a couple frames. Like, and there are some that really could benefit from a little drift or something. I also think his branding up at the front and at the end don't really match what's going on in the rest of the piece with this background. Maybe like the match strike does, but not necessarily the typography or like that black texture in the back. So I would definitely noodle that and I would make your type smaller and more designy, simpler, you know, wouldn't overthink it too much. What about you, Austin? Yeah. I mean, what echoing you what you said and, and, you know, in the, I think some of these shots, uh, end yeah. up chopping out, um, adding the camera drift in in a few of the in a, in a few instances really helps and i think that sizing is a, a better. works better let's let's try to get back there yeah like that scale for the type versus up in the beginning this feels a bit yeah. like like but like full it screen. doesn't have to say motion real and at the end it doesn't need like the url things like that you could really just clean it up Right. Most people right. forget, like, we're watching this on your site. It's because you specifically sent it somewhat, somewhere for a reason. So, yeah. All right. Well, you'll hear the rest of my feedback in the choppy chop. In the choppy chop. Cool, cool. <laughs> cool. Okay. So, here we are in After Effects. Downloaded a reel, imported it. So, this will all be kind of just a general kind of re reworking, uh, dragging to after effects i'm going to duplicate your comp i'm going to turn off the audio or the video on one and audio on the other so this will be our our audio layer just give this another color and lock it so i don't mess up um but before i lock it maybe l hit l twice so we can see the waveform always nice to see the waveform because that'll give us a little bit of a visual cues about when when um, some audio happenings uh, okay and then the next thing we'll do let's just look at your open so usually I'll just I actually I, I think this is fun to open we'll play it down a bit might go a little long but let's let's see <laughs> Okay, so some things I'll say about the open. Um, I like that you got this fun kind of uh, uh, f looks like frame by frame and fire animation, and that's all great. The type's kind of gigantic, you know. Um, so I mean, I like the texture and I like that the type treatment's fine, but it's just it's huge, right? You're filling the entire frame, and I'm going kind of old school, like classic, you know, where the type can be smaller. I know a lot of the times media now is is seen or consumed on a smaller phone screen and, and bigger type does work 
well there, but I'd, I'd bring I'd bring that down. Um, I think at your close, you know, this is a more elegant sizing. Now, you know, I know it's the open, so maybe it's somewhere in between that, right? Let's. I would suggest that. Can uh, can this move a little quicker? Let's see. I mean, it's not it's not bad. Uh, let's see what happens though if we and you do have a nice transition. But I'm gonna go right up to that point where you transition, and I'm gonna I'm gonna split the layer here. Command Shift D. And I got my time stretch open. If you don't see your time stretch, you could always just right click on the columns and then you could see your time stretch. So that's gonna let us just, this is a, a global uh, change to the speed. So I'm gonna say, let's make it, let's make it 65% faster and just see what that looks like. You know, now we gotta time that with the music a little better because it you do a quick fade in. So I might trim like just a little bit of that music. Let's see what happens. Maybe a little more. Right, and that just is just gonna get us in a little faster. I probably shaved about two seconds off there, but you gotta remember, you got six seconds ish to capture attention and make somebody want to keep watching your reel. So let's see how this looks. I think that works. And I mean, you do have a transition kind of baked in here to this next shot. So I'm not going to mess with that. And I, I think this is a nice, strong shot. You're showing kinetic typography right off the bat. Any kind of uh, typography skills are going to be valuable to showcase because we use type all the time in motion, in the least commercial motion design, and even non commercial sometimes. Uh, okay, and then we go into. It looks like you already got that set up. I think I don't. I don't think we messed with that because that's working. All right, so I think we're good to there. Let's let's do a cut. Uh, the next frame. I do like these, but are they the? Do they want to be next? Let's let's look through. So maybe what I want to do now is, is, is take a minute to curate and just chop your work up into a few different sections. And then we'll play around. And you do some nice things like cutting on motion. I've noticed that. Okay. So cutting on motion, the type is moving and then, you know, we cut in that movement and then we have a continuous move here. So there's some nice kind of match moves, cut on motion, uh, just very traditional editing techniques that are being employed here. Okay, so and that goes to the close, which we could also se separate maybe, maybe not. All right, so we've shown a little fun frame by frame some typography leading to some kind of fun graphic layout illustration. So what do we want to show next? Kind of tempted maybe to show this one. Let's see how it looks. Okay, so we will nudge up to that. I'm gonna do a, let's just see how it all looks together. Okay, so a couple things as I'm watching it again. Let's see. I think this could work. Let's see if we're hitting it the right way. So we want to cut on a little earlier, right? We want to hit this audio. 
Mm, not sure if that's totally the move. Uh, let's see what this guy looks like. I'm going to use this to give myself a marker. Shift 1. It's going to give me a little number 1 over here. That's going to help me to know where I want to drop this next shot. Let's get it. Okay, I think that might work. I do really like this, and I think we just want to speed up this first part of it, maybe even up to there. Let's go 50% faster, see how that looks. Let's get it. Let's get it. Cool, and then let's see uh, how we look when we nudge up to it. Let's get it. All right, Let's not bad, but we're going, we need to go a little slower here that went too fast so let's see come back to 100 percent here and i'm just gonna drag this out to there to the end of that shot to where we want to cut okay let's get it let's get it And then let's see if we put our friend here. How that looks. Let's get it. Let's get it. I think that's starting to work. Uh, let's see. Okay, I think that's pretty good. I'm still not a lot. I think I like the speed in this coming up. I guess that's just a shot because I'm at 100% here. So, all right, we're just going to keep going. Uh, what do we want to do next? Got our fun animals. We got stuff. We got some of these things. I mean, I think you did a pretty good job of curating strongest first already. Let's see if maybe our animal friends can go a little faster. I'm just going to go globally 75%. See how that looks. We'll just play from here. That feels good. Just went 75% faster. Let's see what do we got next. Here and here. I'm going to... Thinking about throwing these eggs in, maybe as uh, let's see how they look. They might need to go a touch faster. Yeah, let's see what happens if they go like 75%. Yeah, that feels good. All right. Okay, and then where do we want to go? We want to... Go to, let's see if we want to include this shot. And it's got some live action. So I think that's good. Or at least photos. Boom. Okay, so that shot's good. I like what's happening here. I think here we're going to want to split. And this is where I think we can use a little camera drift is going to help. So we can do that with a camera. 
or we could do that with scaling. If you do this in your own comp, right, you might have better luck. But we're not going to push in so far or pull back so far that it's going to necessarily um, get overly rasterized. So I'm going to do a single node camera, and I'm going to I'm going to do this camera style, and we're going to go to here. Let's try a push forward. Actually, I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to start close and then we're going to pull our camera back and i'm going to stay with linear keyframes i just want it to be moving we're not looking for um any kind of dramatic move i think let's see now that i say that i'm like maybe we should do a dramatic move let's uh let's ease this strong ease in and maybe just nudge it so that it doesn't quite stop. We'll nudge it past where it cuts. And that's just going to add like a little second camera as secondary. Cool. I like it. Right, let's keep going. Um, what do we got next? We got... We got this guy. All right, let's do the same thing. Let's add camera here. 3D layer, new camera, single node, position. I will do the opposite this time, I think. Although, we don't want to get too big. Oops. Let's see if we just drift in just a little bit and see how that looks. Cool. And if we want to go a little less, just nudge that, those keyframes. Now here we're cutting on motion. And maybe what we're going to do, we'll, we'll just keep that camera moving. So let's make this a 3D layer. We're gonna add, no, cancel that. Let's add another camera. Position, keyframe, jump to here, and we'll just keep, you know, same idea, subtle drift, subtle drift. And I, I wonder if this can go a little faster too. 85%. Yeah, we'll try that. Okay, let's keep going. Okay. What do we have left? We've got cheesy movies, Tronic, GDC. So I, I don't find these to necessarily be as strong. I'm wondering if they're. I'm gonna I'm gonna remove them. We're gonna trim those shots, and we're gonna come to we got a fun guy running. Let's see how that looks. And I think we'll cut these guys in half. I think we're going to trim this guy too. And we're going to we're going to go for like a 30 second cut down here. Okay, and we're going to bring that to our MCU slot machine. We're going to split the layer here and we're going to add a nice camera drift. I think we're going to do a, a, a dramatic pullout on this one. We're going to try it. I don't know why I keep it in position. Let's do a 3D layer, make a new camera. Okay. Hmm. We want to end here. And I think we're going to do one of these deals where we're going to start kind of tight. 
and we're gonna do a, a 20 frame pullback. Mm. And see how that looks. Maybe even faster. Or what we wanna do, maybe we'll be a little bit, use our camera to start a more, a little more centered like that. Nah, we're gonna be fighting ourselves if we do that. And let's, let's not finish right there. Let's finish a little closer. Then I'm gonna split the camera layer, Command Shift D. Look at my keyframes, and I'm basically gonna do this as a trick where I want to I want to eliminate the um, influence or the interpolation from these previous keyframes, mm -hmm. and I'm just gonna rekey it and keep the camera moving here. <laughs> I feel like this could go a little faster. So we're basically just gonna speed that up. And let's see how this looks at a close. We'll just have to fade out our music. We're like a few frames off. We want this all to happen a touch later. Uh, let's see. Yeah, which means we're gonna need to kind of get back some of our time. We'll go back by making this guy 100%. Pull this out. Slide this guy back. I think that might have done it. All right, we just, we're like a frame off. There we go. Almost, almost. Just need, there we go. Except that is the wrong frame. Let's uh, nudge these guys back. Well, back go. Oh, I'm getting noodled here. Uh, watch this. 101. <laughs> there we go. Uh, to recap. I'm gonna turn off the audio here and just play it down and let it let it play. So we kind of retimed the open, made it a little faster. This was nice. Didn't really mess with this. Um, reordered this shot. Reordered this shot. Sped this up a little bit. Sped that up a little bit. Added the camera move there. Added the camera move there. Camera move there. Trimmed some shots. Added a camera move at the end. So basically we went from, what were we? I think Tyler was at 43 seconds. So we trimmed about 10 seconds, 11 seconds off, made things a little punchier, reordered a few shots. I mean, the reel was not in a, in a bad place. I think we just made it a little tighter here. Um, and the only spot I'm a little bit, there's this, this little jump there, I'm not crazy about how I got there. It, it, it felt good in Tyler's original because he had it queued up with the music. So if I, I would keep spending some more time on that. Yeah, you did a great job, Austin. You got rid of everything that like wasn't really feeling. And then you cut out a lot of dead frames on the ENSA projects that you talk about. Like there was like a lot of little trims that you made that were very, very effective. And here you did a little punch in. Um, yeah. I think that, yeah, I think in addition to the editing, the adding the camera, right? Like here, yeah. the camera pulls back, here the camera's going forward, here the camera, it's just, just I talk about this constantly with the students that it's, 
I think about the camera as like primary motion and secondary motion. Primary so motion. primary is yeah. the camera can do a big move and then the secondary, the camera is just moving forward yeah. or back. And sometimes it's like we go primary big. move to secondary or, you know, but, yeah. but it's kind of rare that I'm doing anything without a camera in a comp. Yep. Generally. I think it adds a lot. Again, I think your shot selection was great. It's great. Cool. I get a real sense of where this artist is at. Yeah. Well done. Should we play our studio reel and you give me feedback? You want me to? So funny. I didn't realize it was there. Dynamic open. I know. Yeah. Boom. Boom. Yeah. I mean, and I know you all did like, a, didn't you have like a custom score done? Yeah. For this one. Yeah. Like that goes a long way, right? Like. Of course it does. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, it's just kind of. Well, once you're a studio, you can't just shot. like take any <clears throat> any song from a band. You'll be hearing from a lawyer if you do that. So right, right. You got to pay for what you use. So you could use, you know, um, kind of needle drop or nice typography. I mean, to me, it's like yeah, you're hitting all the it's just the range of like we can do. Hard surface. All the things. And we can we do can it do well. Fantasy and CG right. and character and live action. Comping and live action, full CG, design, food, a little bit of fashion, and that minimal 3D stuff. Branding. Nice editing. Pop, pop, pop. Oh, yeah. Nothing is more than a couple frames. You want somebody to be able to go through. And be like, what project was that? And then like go in and like dig it up. Do so. You want people to get lost in your work. If you give it all in a montage, it's like you've done yourself a disservice. Yeah. I mean, most people on average spend a couple seconds on a website and get an impression just from thumbnails and stuff. So that could be our next real time real talk. Okay. Yeah. Maybe that means I have to cut a new montage. Yeah. Should do you I? have a re do you have a resume? I needed to make a resume the other day. Um, I I think I do. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you so probably funny. do just because you're a teacher. Yeah, but like I have one, but then I have the CV, right? The CV is yeah. like a stupid. It's like a twenty page document, right? It's like everything you've ever done, and then yeah, not but that's designed. because you're you, that's academic you're a teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but I talk to students about it. Like literally, when we do our professional practices class, the first thing I say is like, well, when we get to resumes, I'm like. Do you need a resume? Like, do resumes matter? I have a big slide. Do resumes matter? Question mark. Right. And of course, my answer is it depends because yeah. for my entire career as a freelancer, they haven't mattered. Like nobody cares about my resume as a freelancer. Right. They're just like, let me see your reel. And can you get it done? And can I work with you? Right. As an academic? Yeah, I absolutely need one. If you want. And I tell the students, I'm like, if you want to apply for a corporate job, yeah, you're going to need a resume. And one way or the other it's like i go with it's better to have one and not need one than need one and not have one is my stance so i make them yeah. do it here's my demo reel 
Um, like I said, it's easily getting to be 10 years old now, but, and it's long too. I think I'm at like two minutes. <laughs> oh, I don't want to watch it for two yeah, minutes. Yeah, you're like two minutes. <laughs> Remember this? We were. Oh this. my God! You cannot have this on a reel now. Why this not? is so old. Yeah, but it's awesome. It still holds up. Mm. And you and the music is really like. I don't. I don't. It's. I think it's fine. I get enough work. <laughs> this is all dated, Austin. That's why it's not the first thing on my real, like on my website. Okay. Yeah, no, I haven't touched it in years. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty dated. Yeah. Okay, but so honestly, we have though, assignments to do. No, it still but we holds should up do that. though. Honestly, though, I feel like yeah, I get that some of the shots feel old, but nothing in it is not doesn't feel not designed or decent. I think. Yeah, I think you know all of your poster work your kinetic type work oh yeah yeah oh, but that there's stuff, so none much... of it's hd why aren't you working hd because it's all for social so put I post white it. or black next to it like we're advising these kids to do i know but these, i'm not trying to get hired <laughs> I don't know. I feel like we should do our next episode. We should both have a new reel to talk about. That could because, be interesting. But then it's like, because I mean, if you yeah. if people are looking at that reel on your site with older work. I don't care. I know <laughs> you don't need to. No, exactly. Exactly. And that's, that's why it's the, like even this, yeah. this stuff, this is two years old. Like I haven't updated my site for two years because I haven't had a minute. <laughs> I know. <laughs>